So, I've been stuck in my apartment for the last nine months and over this time period I've done a little bit of reflecting and this has ultimately led to me taking things I used to do without much effort a lot more seriously. Being told to stay home forced me to get creative and make the most out of this pandemic situation. Hi, my name is Edward Smith, I'm a UCLA student, singer-songwriter and content creator and this is my home studio setup and workspace for 2021. So, to start off, the first and main thing I changed from my previous setup is its location. I used to have my entire setup in the living room area of my apartment, which had some benefits but overall the negatives outweighed them. My previous setup lacked acoustic treatment, and as a music producer and content creator, Getting good sounding audio is essential. The process of acoustically treating my entire living room area, not to mention the dining area and kitchen, really made it an impossible task. Since friends and family aren't visiting as often due to the pandemic, putting together a creative space in the spare bedroom sounded perfect. And that's exactly what I did. I removed everything I didn't need from the spare bedroom and then got started. Firstly, moving my entire setup from the living room, spacing things out to help me see what I'm working with. I liked the way my previous desk was set up, so I did the same. But this time I moved it closer to the window for better light when shooting videos. Yes, the window isn't ideal for good sounding acoustics, but to fix that issue, I got an acoustic curtain which I can leave open when I'm editing or close when I'm shooting videos or making music. Speaking of acoustic treatment, to make sure the entire room sounded good, I went for the simple option, foam isolation pads. I've used foam for acoustic treatment before, but figured using less than 2 inches of density made its effect unnoticeable, so to prevent that from happening, I got 2 inch thick panels and had them gorilla taped to the wall. And I must say, they do the job really well. Moving on to my desk setup. To be honest, not too much has changed. I still use my Dell XPS laptop as my main driver. I still use my Dell curved monitor, Yamaha HS8 studio speakers, but some things have changed. Starting off with my monitor stand. At first I had a basic black Amazon monitor stand, where now I have a three unit rack mount housing my Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 audio interface and my DBX compressor. This rack mount unit is also a lot stronger and carries the weight of my heavy 34 inch Dell monitor a lot better. Since I only use two of the three units in my rack mount, it allows me to hide my laptop after it's all set up and connected. This kind of makes my setup both portable and permanent at the same time. Other things that have changed is the mouse and keyboard I use. I now use a Logitech MX Keys keyboard and an MX Master mouse. The tracking of the mouse is un believable and the feel of the keys are just awesome not to mention the quality of the additional palm rest to break up the dark tones of my desk i also got a white mouse pad this makes the tracking of my mouse even more effective and helps improve the aesthetic of my desk overall when it comes to headphones i've switched I now use Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones for music production and mixing and moved my Bay Dynamic DT770 Pros to my mobile recording microphone setup. The Bay Dynamics have a very long cable, so it makes them great for connected mobility. To keep my Audio-Technica headphones within arm's reach, I place them on a stand making it easy to jump between the sound of my headphones or the studio monitors. Other than that, for music production purposes, I've added M-Audio BX4 reference monitors to my desk setup, standing on slanted monitor stands to assist with any unwanted speaker vibrations. Since I use a microphone every single day, I got myself a Rode PS1A microphone boom arm. This keeps my microphone connected at all time, making the process of recording vocals and doing voiceovers super efficient. In terms of cable management, I still use raceways and velcro straps to keep everything neat and in place, because it really works. Another item I've changed that really helped me be more productive for longer periods of time is my chair. 
And yes, before I had a gaming chair, yes, it looked really cool. But is it super comfortable and ergonomic? No. So I got myself a new chair. An office chair. That's almost as good as a Herman Miller, but a lot cheaper. Getting a new chair has really made a huge difference for me, helping to relieve a lot of the back pain I've been having and also ensuring I don't get tired so easily. Since the room has carpet floors, it does help giving the room better sound absorption, but one thing it doesn't do is make moving around an office chair any easier. To fix that issue, I got myself an office chair mat off Amazon and taped it to the floor so it doesn't move around at all. Now it's time to show you something I've always dreamed of having. A video shooting zone. Having my video gear permanently set up and always ready to go is pretty awesome. My camera is always fully charged, connected to the microphone, just a few clicks and I'm ready to shoot. To help improve my audio quality wherever I might go, I made myself a DIY hanging blanket. Using a few thick blankets thrown over an old clothing rack help absorb sound and really adds to the acoustic treatment of the room. To help make unboxing and product review videos even better, I got myself an office desk. This really helps zone out my shooting area, making it look neater and a lot less unorganized. Speaking of organization, to me being organized is the answer to better productivity and efficiency. And to keep my studio organized, I use both my closet, a bookshelf, and a console table to store my gear. My shelf is used to store everyday things, like a microphone, camera slider, cables, a printer. Whereas my closet is used more for things I don't use as often, including products I might have reviewed or old gear I've upgraded from. For other items in between like microphone cables, RGB lights, my headphones, my gimbal, these items are all stored in my console table, making it easy to access whenever needed. Finally, to add a vibe to my studio, I've added some motivational artworks to the walls. This really helps me be in a good frame of mind, and it helps remind me why I do what I do. To help with better room acoustics, I filled the artworks with foam as well. For better, cooler looking lighting, I got myself an Edison style standing light and matched it with my original LED P sign. And as always, to end off my setup, I've added some artificial plants just to give the space some color. So that brings this video of my home studio setup for 2021 to an end. And I hope it has inspired you the way other setup videos have inspired me. If you have any questions about anything in the video, leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. I've also added links in the description of all the products I use in my studio setup in case you wanted to pick up any for your own. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe because it lets me know who's watching and if you want to see more of these type of videos. But now with that out of the way, it's time to get back to work.